Let's add 4 to 588. So if we count on 4, we have 589, 590, 591, 592. So 588 add 4 equals 592. Or if we do the same question using bridging, we know that if we're on 588, 2 more will take us to 590, and then another 2 takes us to 592. And if we've added 2 and then added another 2, We've added 4 all together, so 588 add 4 equals 592. Now pause the video and see if you can answer 285 plus 7. So if we count on 7 from 285, we get... 286, 287, 288, 289, 290, 291, 292. So we've added 7 to get... 292. But again, we can use bridging to get to the answer more quickly. So if we're on 285, 5 more will take us to 290, and then we can add another 2, so that we've added 7 altogether, and that gives us our answer of 292. Now we have 394 add 8. So if we count on 8 from 394, we get 395, 396, 397, 398, 399, 400, so whenever you add 1 to a number with 99, you go to the next 100, so 400, 401, 402. So 394 add 8 equals 402. And again, we could use bridging. So if we're on 394, our next multiple of 10 is 400. So we can add 6 to get to 400. And then add 2 more, so that we've added 8 altogether. So 394 add 8 equals 402. Now pause the video and see if you can answer 798 plus 6. So if we count on 6 from 798, we get 799, 800, 801, 802, 803, 804. So 798 plus 6 equals 804. But again, we can answer this question more quickly if we use bridging. So if we're on 798, 
our next multiple of 10 is 800. And we can add 2 to get to 800, and then add 4 more to get to 804. So we added 2, then added 4, so we've added 6 altogether, and that gives us our answer 804.